Brian's Arcane here, and today, well, we have to uh, update our Cyberpunk 2077 mod video because they made an update, and there have been a couple more smaller updates, and a couple mods are now broken. So now we're going to go through improving those mods and getting it back to a working condition. All right, so everything you're going to need say you have the GOG version or the Steam version, what you want to do is you want to find out where your cyberpunk 2077 is installed okay i have a shortcut for mine to make, make it to the desktop but just showed you on gog you just go to system management and show file we'll, we'll, we'll do it again go over here manage installation simple show folder and there's your folder now and now we're going to grab the cyber engine tweaks and uh see it says last time i downloaded it was on April 8th 2021 and it's been updated on April 14th at just about 5 a.m. so what we're gonna do is download this and here we are on the uh, appearance mod menu and you can see as well it's been updated on the 19th so very recently updated we definitely want to get this one you go into your cyberpunk folder where the game is installed mods you know where you'll install your mods when you download them open it up now we have the old appearance mod here and we have the new one the new cyber engine tweaks and our better mini map we're gonna skip the mini map here we just need to get these two things working our baseline mod for cyberpunk so what you want to do is extract the cyber engine tweaks patch 1.21 and then the appearance mod extract that as well now we'll do this in the proper order so that you can get it down right first you want to go to cyber engine tweaks so it, go to bin and go to bin 64 open up x64 and then all of these except for license you don't really need to put license in there all of those go right into this folder so you can what I like to do is just uh, take license delete it so you don't have to deal with that and drag it right on over and drop it in and if you previously modded it choose replace because it'll replace the old files and that's it our cyber engine tweaks are installed then we'll go over to our appearance mod which is a little bit more but quite the same follow the root folders go to plugins we have plugins right there cyber engine tweaks mods and that's what we want to drop in mods mods and that's the old one so we'll replace the old one Bam. now we go back to our root folder okay and then from here we're going to the archives and go into archives PC PC now it's very easy you can just drag and drop the whole thing but you do want to make sure that you're not overriding old things that do not need to be overwritten replace all and there you go our base mod are now installed let's pop into the game and see them in action all right we're back into the game and so now we're here we have our appearance mod on the right and we have the cyber agent tweaks on the left what you want to do the first time you get in here, if you have not done it before, you click on bindings and you'll set an overlay key. Now I have mine set to number pad 4. The reason you want to do this is so when you press it, it takes the mod away, when you press it, it brings it back up. So now that that's done, you can hit the arrow here to minimize that. There are lots of other things to do inside Cyber Engine Tweaks. We're not really here to give a tutorial on how to use the cyber engine tweaks it's pretty self-explanatory so I would suggest explore have fun but be careful but it's easy to reinstall and then over here the appearance mod they've changed the new things I would say check out the new updated uh, abilities and things that they have changed things you may have gotten used to may have changed so cool and there you go so let's let's call it a vehicle and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll change the, the paint on we'll change the scene. As well as you can change the whole thing. As you've seen in my previous video. Oh, right behind us. 
we are. Now, for this one, my favorite version to do for this, this car is actually, I do believe this one here. This is my favorite. and there you are our vehicles look amazing okay I think I found one that uh one that I, I, I forgot to download that I really wanted it's the Haiba Kunasagi neon rims by uh half Korea half Korea look like half Korea and, and it was recently uh, updated on the 18th so this is a good one let's pop this in and uh, uh well, let me show you. We have the Kunasagi rims. What we'll do is we'll distract that and we'll open up our game file, Cyberpunk 2077, where it's installed. There we are. Now, the Kunasagi rims. Now, as they say in the README, choose only one color. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the pink. It'll stand out more nice and bright and powerful, you know, and I do believe we'll go to archive. PC mod that's where you're gonna drop it in I have all my mods here and all you do is you drag the pink one and drop it in there and it is that easy all right we're back in and there you know the rims are pink glowing pink and I think it is on all of them yeah they're there growing glowing pink easy as peasy just drag and drop them into the mod folder and there you have it all right, so I just want to thank everybody for watching. Like and subscribe if uh, the information was very useful to you. So you guys be good. Take it easy. I'll catch you later.